Hey guys, welcome back, it's Shelby, and today we are making a giant bow to top giant presents with. No presents in today's video, but uh, I received a large present from someone that I know, and they put this fabulous giant bow on top, and it was so cool that I asked her to tell me how to make it. And so today I'm gonna show you guys how to make it yourself, just in case you are giving a gift that is larger than life and needs something bigger than your regular store bows on it. This is gonna give you a giant paper bow that's about that big, circular, they're really, really cool, and they're actually pretty easy to make. So that's gonna be in today's video. You don't need much for it, just a hot glue gun, some scissors, and a poster board in whatever color you want your bow to be in. That's it, but I will link it down below along with my socials. Let's get going. So you're going to want to put your poster board down in front of you horizontally, and you need eight equal strips from it. So my first one turned out a little bit wonky and honestly, I didn't use a yardstick and a pen or pencil to make straight lines. If details matter to you, you probably should do that. But if you have a straight hand, which honestly I don't, you can just cut off the sections freehanding it. You want them to be about three and a half or four inches wide, but basically you just want eight strips out of the paper. It's okay if one of them turns out a little wonky and crooked like mine did, and it's okay if one of them is slightly thicker than the others, but in a perfect world, they would all be completely straight and completely the same size, but just do the best you can. And the bow is going to turn out really well and look really good anyway, even if the pieces aren't exactly symmetrical. So don't worry about that. Once you have your pieces, it's time to assemble them. I left the sticker on this one, so that's the inside. All you need to do is put a thin bead of glue down one side and carefully fold the other side over and attach the ends, pinch them together so that they stay flat and form a petal. The only real caveat here is to make sure that you don't completely press the poster board flat you have to keep that loop on the other end once you press that flat it's going to put a big crease in it and you're not going to be able to get the round poofy part back so uh, just be careful when you do that and make sure that you get a bunch of little teardrop shapes you need to do that with six of them leave two off to the side and then you're connecting them so this is going to create the bow part itself so just another line of glue put the other end over it and press them together so that you've got little figure eights then it's time to assemble the bow itself. So put one of the little figure eights down, put a lot of glue on there, and then put the second center down over the glued center at a nice little angle. You don't want it to be uh, perfectly squared up because you need to get all six pieces on your bow. Once that happens, you can cut off the wonky part of your last bit, put a little bit of glue down and form it into a circle. And then once that is a lovely circle and dry, put a little bit more glue on top of your bow and press the circle into the top of it. That's gonna give the lovely bow shape. And then we're gonna work on the bow tails. For this one, just cut your last strip of paper in half and then cut out little triangles. Put a little bit of glue on both of them and tuck them just underneath the bow itself so that they hang out the bottom and create a lovely, very poofy, fabulous bow with the cute little trailing tails out of it. Okay guys, that's it. This is how it turned out. Isn't that cool? That's like such a beautiful, puffy, giant bow to put on any gift. I did white, obviously. You could do any color you want. Uh, poster board comes in every color, including sparkly, glittery paper. So giant red bow, giant blue bow, you know, stripes, anything you want. I'm sure you can find it at the store and it literally takes about five minutes to assemble. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a really cute, fun, festive way to give giant oversized gifts. I was certainly excited to see it because they're the kind of things that you see like in commercials, like big giant bows and you don't see them in stores other than like maybe Christmas time. And even then they're not giant. So I thought this was cool. I was really excited uh, when she made one and I saw it. So I was really glad that she showed me how and I wanted to share it all with you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you here again soon. Bye for now.